Hi guys, welcome to Creations. Today, I have something really amazing planned for you. So, since I've been on Okinawa, I have been amazed at how many seashells are on the ocean. I'm from LA, so I'm used to the beach, but I have never seen so many seashells in my entire life. So, today I have been inspired to show you guys how to create seashell jewelry holders. Uh, what you are going to need is seashells, uh, one of the wonderful natural resources we have on Okinawa. And I've been collecting these every time I go to the beach. It's so cute. My daughter, who's almost three, hand me seashells now. She knows that mommy's looking for seashells when we go to the beach. So um, what I really enjoy is getting all the little ones because they're so beautiful. And so don't overlook those, you know, like itsy bitsy little seashells because it will come in handy for what I'm showing you guys today. Also sea glass, everybody's always crazy about the sea glass. And just whatever you start collecting. Um, I have some really beautiful ones, even the coral. Uh, the coral is gonna come in really handy also for what I have planned. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten those, you know, these little inspiration rocks. I've gotten quite a few of these, so um, you can incorporate these as well. Also some acrylic paint some puff paint if you choose, your glue gun, your wonderful glue gun, uh, medium or low setting is fine, you don't need it high. Um, and then also pearls if you would so like, and any type of jewelry that you would like. Flowers, I um, chose some stuff that looks a little bit like C. Um, and jewelry of course will be what you put in it. Also these tea lights, and you can go from the small regular tea lights all the way up to the large jars. And so you can go over to Crafty Things and they have the acrylic paint, they have the puff paints, they have paint brushes. A lot of times they, um, places also sell seashells, but why? You know, go to the beach, enjoy your time and say, hey, buddy, babe, I have to go to the beach today. Um, and then also the jewelry and stuff like that you can also buy and tea lights and stuff. So we're gonna get started. What we are gonna be creating today is something like this. And another idea is something like this. I know a lot of times they show you at the end their final creation, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be doing. And as you can see, this is why all the little seashells are gonna come in handy, because they're gonna line our tea light. So, what you could do is you can start with some really big, one really big shell is very helpful, and the tea light. And what I did is I would just start lining the tea light with a whole bunch of glue, maybe like an inch. And for the little ones, I just started dropping them on and holding them down. For with the with the little ones, you don't really need to have a rhyme or reason with these. If you want to take the time and take some, you know, little guys and stick these on here all the way that you want, go right ahead. And so there you go. You can start. And then as you go along, you can start incorporating, incorporating the let's say the flowers. We wanna have this as our back. Put the flower on there. There we go. And you keep going. Go around. And that's a good little filler. That's why I love the little seashells because it's just so perfect. There we go. So you can start seeing that it starts filling in. There we are. So after you've completely done that, you can get your big seashell and you can paint it. I have uh, some acrylic paint right here. And what I did with this one is I did a green and then I did a silver and I just swished it all around. You can do a design, whatever you would like. Um, I've also seen that you can put Elmer's glue in the bottom and then put um, sparkles. And so if you want something really shimmery and stuff, um, I know if I did sparkles, it would be all over the place. So I just stick to paint. Uh, puff paint is awesome as well. If you want to do some detail work, 
I did some detail work on this, but don't use this to glue the seashells onto the glass. It's not gonna work. It's, they're just gonna slide right off and it's gonna be a big mess. So you want to adhere your big seashell to the glass. And it's really easy. It's with the glue gun, it's awesome. You just get a big amount of the glue right there. And you're just gonna put this right there. And what's awesome is you just start building around this. I didn't have any plan for this. I didn't have any, I actually just watched a couple things and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take what I've seen and just start building what I think would be beautiful. And so there's no recipe. It's just listening to the shells. Um, for rings, I actually started painting this with water paint. And I really like it because the coral is so porous that you can still see the texture where the acrylic might cover it up too much. And so I actually started um, experimenting with this. But we'll use this one. And see, it's already dry. So it really, it really just sticks right away so you can pick it up again and start working with the seashells. So I'm gonna put a little bit, my little ones are almost time for a new glue stick. Okay. And this one would be good for the rings. This one I need to eat a little bit more. And of course glue sticks. You can find those at Crafty Things as well. And make sure you always get a, a glue gun is the answer to everything. So put the coral on there and it's already dry. Like it just sticks so fast, like it's awesome. And then to cover up some of the glue, because you'll notice you're like, oh my gosh, I see a lot of the glue. You just start sticking all your little seashells to cover up. And I picked a lot of the coral up and a lot of these just really beautiful seashells to cover up the glue. And of course, if you make a big boo-boo, you can always stick a flower on there. So that always works. And so you're gonna continue along And then to get some of the bigger shells, as you see with this one, I started with the little ones in the back, and as I moved around, the bigger seashells, and then I found this beautiful one, and I put that right there. And then there's, you know, sometimes you pick up those rocks and they're not so pretty, but they actually end up looking so beautiful on in the whole piece because you're making it look like the bottom of the ocean or like an ocean scene. So don't be afraid to pick up some of those not so beautiful rocks, you know, because it's amazing how good it looks when it, it becomes a part of the scene that you're setting. Um, what I wanted to show you then is how to adhere your pearls. This can be a little tricky, but the glue gun does everything. So you're going to line the seashell and it does dry pretty quick, but you'll be fine. Just start putting a whole line of it. And I didn't measure this, I just cut it and, and you're gonna just start placing. And because the glue gun's not on super hot, I'm not burning my fingers. When it's on super duper hot, oh gosh, like I burn my fingers all the time. There we go. And just take your scissors. There we go, super easy. And I didn't burn my fingers and you already have this beautiful pearl. And then you can get your paintbrush. And just start painting the inside of the shell. Or you can do that, um, you know, before you put the pearls on in case you don't want the pearls to get any paint. And the paint dries pretty fast on this uh, seashell stuff, so. And it's nice um, because you can see, see, still see the texture of the shell through this paint. So you're still letting the natural elements and the natural colors shine through. And so there you go. And then let's say you're done with the seashells. You wanna, or we can put, this one was really cool because I thought, oh, you can put a ring on there. And so if you want to put that 
maybe sitting on top of the rock here. There we go. There we go. And so now you have a spot for a ring. And there we go. And I found uh, these are all over the place. And then these are very popular, these orange and white ones. Uh, I see them everywhere. When I first got here, I was so excited to see them. And then they're like, oh, no, they're everywhere. <laughs> You'll see them all the time. So um, you can make even a one just covered with these. It's awesome. And so just and it's cool because of the like the lip of the seashell. This glue is crazy today. There we go. There we go. And you can adhere it to the side of the teacup and just kind of hold it there in place for a few seconds. And there you go. So in less than 10 minutes, you can have a beautiful jewelry holder. If you have a friend who really likes the natural elements, you can have them, you know, giving something like this. If you want to plan out exactly what colors, you can make it really, really intricate. But it's using the natural elements, stuff that you already have, or maybe if you just need to pick up a few things. Um, but I did this one for my daughter, so you can put her little hair clips in there. And I have a few of my little trinkets, so there you go. Well, I hope you guys were inspired today to go down to the beach, collect your seashells, get your glue gun and start gluing away and create a beautiful seashell jewelry holder. Thanks guys.